Hello again, everybody. Welcome to Thursday. Welcome to the Thursday <laughs> part two of our amazing, spectacular, super awesome, super fantastic. Mm. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show stopping, spectacular. Minnesota Hall. We have a lot more amazing stuff to oh show you God. today. We both found a literally we insane pair of shoes. Luxury shoes. So you won't want to miss those. So stay tuned to the end to see those. We're going to go five five like always. And if you're interested in anything, our email is the first thing below, or you Instagram. can DM us on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Either of those work. Other routes don't work that well, but those two things work like a charm. Let's just begin. First off. Should I start? No. <sighs> <laughs> I get bullied. First off is this tiny by Anthropology. It's an extra small. Super cute with the lace Super on Super cute, like open cardigan with this like floral lace at the front. She cute. These is a Rebecca Taylor, which is one I don't find too often, but it actually sells pretty good and it's a size medium. And it is a cashmere blend or like a wool blend, I think. With this pretty like with lace, lace on the bottom. bottom. It was originally $350 Eyelash retail. Lace. Is that called? I learned that from Aaron. Thank you. This is like a mustard Ooh. almost color, Pilcrow in the letterpress anthropology, size small. It looks to be cropped. I think it is. Denim jacket. It's super cute. And pretty similar. You got one in canary yellow. Is a canary yellow, not as cropped, size medium. I like this. It has Again, the little or look. like banana color as well. Pilgrim letterpress, anthropology, denim jacket. Very cute. And this is a new tag, also was sold at anthropology, but this is a Nordstrom tag. Sundry with this little like ruffle peplum to it, and it's a size two, which is a size medium. What does it say? Keep it simple. Oh, that's cute. First, these were the beginning or the end of the last video, and they are the beginning of the beginning of this video. They are- The beginning of the end? <laughs> <laughs> they are 3.1 Philip Lim, and they are this amazing pair of like high-waisted black trouser style pants with a pocket. Those are cute. They are a size two, and I'm almost positive these are a silk of some sort. They are 100% silk, and they are be beautiful cute. with the detail in the front. Ugh, stunning. I love them. Okay, next, that same rich woman donated um, this helmet laying sweater, size small, and it's suit my That's in the so bins. cute. It's super pretty. It's this white kind of like multi whatever knit. Multi directional rig. Multi directional knit. And the sleeves like can be buttoned off. So if you want a vest, you just boop. What? In the you unbutton your sleevers. And you could have it literally open down both sides. Yeah. You could basically make it into like flap on the front, flap on the back. That would be so cute. It looks like I need to wash the armpits a little bit, but yeah. For a helmet laying sweater I found in the bins, um, I'll run it through the wash or take it to the dry cleaners. I don't care. Okay, as in the first video, we have a J. Crew Schoolboy blazer. This is the newer tag. This is the regular blazer, not the schoolboy blazer, pardon me. Not Size the newest four. tag, but no. newer. Yes, and it's just a plain little black blazer. That's cute. This one doesn't have the same amount of shoulder pad in it. It just kind of has like that suit. That's really cute. Like sleeve, I know, this one's super pretty. I love the like one button blazer, oh it's so cute. Okay, this, I don't know why the woman next to me did not absolutely die. Y'all better this. pay attention to this because I know a bunch of you emailed me about the other North Face. <laughs> so, okay, I'm just gonna do this. This is all that was sticking out of the bin, literally. A black. Just a little black um, North Face circle. And I said, I'm gonna get that. And I felt like I yanked a person out of the bin. This thing is huge. It's another long down It's North a face. knee length North Face. Face down, not a trench coat, coat quilted. It is a women's size, I think a small, women's size small. And the only, only, only issue with it is I need to kind of like depill this inner like button thing, but that's it. There's no If you're interested, rips. email pretty quick because like I said, Go five quick. people emailed me about the mm -hmm. other one and the first lady wanted it. So. Um, There's no holes, there's no snags. For anybody wondering, it is a 550. Same with mine. I have no idea what that means. Bins find. Urban Outfitters, love. Doesn't sell for a great, but like people doesn't bond, sell for doesn't a great. sell for a great doesn't sell for a whole lot of money but people do bundle them this is super cute just like a little turtleneck mock neck with the lettuce hem crop top okay i know at the end of our last what sold video we said we didn't really want to pick up levi shorts anymore, the board is testing you but this was in the bins and it's a like <laughs> genuine vintage pair of 505 levi shorts well maybe not super vintage but like pretty old 
and it's like professionally distressed like they did it themselves they look, not, yeah, they look like they were done in a store yeah. versus like they are Becky 30 oh but actually jeans. they have a length to them so they were jeans at one point so they are cutoffs hmm well whoever did them did a really good job somebody that knows how to use skizzers versus me Continuing on the Levi's trend, we've got a pair of 505 straights. That's the new kind of label this with a cute skinny, patch on the back. And, yep. Good old pair nice of 505. You can not go wrong with them. No. I love them. It's my favorite pair. <clears throat> oh, what size were those? You guys probably saw it, but they're 14. This is a pair. Or a, pair. a pair. This is a single Ted Baker dress shirt, men's, and it's She's called. She's a little wrinkly. Right? Yeah, it was smashed in a bag. It's called <laughs> the Coco. And it's a size 5, which I think is like a Ted Baker XXL, but like. Mm, it's a man. It looks like a men's large. I don't know why Ted Baker's like, we're gonna do this This size. is a free people, size small. Love this Really tunic. cute flannel tunic the where it kind of peplums, kind of. It's just a little it wider. It gets a little wider at the bottom. It has a little baby doll moment. Like. And this is a brand I never pick up, but oh, I really I thought this, this was cute. It's Recycled Karma, Karma for Coca-Cola, or Coca-Cola for Recycled Karma, I don't mm. know. They did a collab. And it's Smile with Coca-Cola, and on the back it says, Coke is it. I like the like distressed hem on yeah. it too. That's and really if you cute. Just saw that, it's like distressed. And that's a size large. Large. Continuing on the train of, I found a lot of expensive things in the bins. This is not from prior talked about rich lady. This is different rich lady. And it is an All Saints cardigan size 10. So I think that's probably a medium large. And it's this green cardigan. I have it like tied in the front because that's how it's, it's supposed cute. to be. And then there's these like funky little buttons on the back where like if you wanted to, you could make it a little tighter. This is a three people top. I'm going to say it's probably a size like small medium because there isn't a long tag in it, but it has all this really pretty beading along the top. It's like a classic three people. I was going to say that is a staple. Found one of these she devils again. <laughs> The return of FabFitFun. It is the Show Me Your Moo Moo one size. It's called the like Petunia Pickle Bottom, like soaked in a barrel robe. I don't know. <laughs> I have one and I was so excited to find it. And then I found out it was in a freaking FabFitFun box and I cried. Soaked I didn't in a actually barrel. cry. It's okay. I'm drowning in a barrel full of water. <laughs> um, this is We the Free Size Small. This is called, I don't remember. But it's super cute, it has kind of like a wider neck This is neck the one on that it. all y'all are finding at TJ Maxx, but Ryan Fun has at the bins. I love it, super cute. This is a new brand to me, and I was very excited to find these. I googled them, I had no idea what this little doodad is. I thought it was an R, it is a bunny. They are called Buff Bunny Leggings. They are a very expensive. Hmm. Buff Bunny, they are a size small. They felt like Lulu. Like I didn't, and they're so stretchy. Yeah, they feel like expensive athletic. And I was like, okay, so these are something, I looked at the back and I was like, this design looks like something that would be an Instagram. Lo and behold, that's right. This is also a Ben's find. It is Zara Woman, size large. Didn't know that was a size large. And it is just this really pretty, kind of like red patterned Prince silk dress. dress. And it is silk, mm -hmm. Zara silk. Shocking. These are a really cute pair of crop leggings. They appear to be a large or extra large, but I can, if you're interested, just email. There's no size tag in it. It's Fabletics. They're super cute. And they're called, oh, they had a really cool name. I can't remember it. It was like Thunderstorm or something like that. This is a Soft by Joie. And that is a newer tag of Soft by Joie. Striped. Oh my gosh, <laughs> there's this big lint. Okay, that was a piece of lint. So it does have a hole, a small hole at the front, right on a stripe, so. You can't see that. Still probably gonna try to sell that, but we will see how that goes. This is a cute turtleneck, kind of cream really sweater. It's really pretty. And it is Top Shop, and it's a size six. I don't like to get Top Shop really, but in the bins, the bins. I don't not? skip it. This, this is cute. really cute. This is a tweed little skirt with like some pinks, purples, and blacks and stuff in it. And it's a J. Crew size eight. That's really pretty. Kind of a staple J. Crew. A good old tweed. 
And this was in the pile of the bougie lady stuff that Ryan found. This is a James Purse. Is there a difference between standard James Purse and James Purse? I do believe James Purse is the more expensive one. This is the more expensive one then. This is 100% cashmere. It does need some detailing. But like, and it's a size a two, and I don't know anything about James Purse size chart. So seems like a medium or large. <laughs> Next up for me, new tag, Urban Outfitters, find it in the bins. This is the like Clio <clears throat> cropped something hoodie. Good for spring. Cute little canary yellow color size medium oh somebody asked me if you ever see this label it says out from under that's one of the newer urban outfitters brands. like in-house brands yeah this i beat all the hype piece too so he he it is champion regular champion but it's the big logo on the front with the logo on the sleeve that's cute these are pretty trendy and it is a size medium you could always bring it to Plato's closet if you can't sell it. Very true. <laughs> this is new tag anthropology. It is postmark size small, and it's just this really pretty kind of like pink shoulder moment with a ruffle. That's cute. This new to me brand, but I do believe this is the expensive one. It is Finders Keepers, which I'm almost a hundred percent positive is a Revolve brand, I think and it's so. just this really pretty kind of like zippery detail Ooh. white. That's cute. Dress. But like, okay, you trying to look bougie when you go to Easter. You literally you give me a call. just nicked me with a zipper in the eye. Sorry. Workplace hazards. What's that called? Workplace occupational cop. hazard. Welcome to a living occupational hazard. Another way the free size medium. This is the part of the hall where it's almost all three people and it's just this really pretty um that's like really cute and orange or like purple like orange, so orange, orange ruffly sleeve little top good easter colors i you know, look like an easter super egg. cute bread and butter for me under mm -hmm. armor shorts and now that it's starting to get warmer the ua play 2.0 <laughs> I've had them so many times. This, I probably will not be able to show that well. This was a bins find as well. Oh, like all of these are bins gun. finds. Size small Lulu's. Oh my gosh. It's really pretty. And it's like a blue gown. So it's Lulu's a really chiffon. good for like some kind of wedding or prom or homecoming or Ooh, something like that. If you're going that. to homecoming, you got a wedding you don't really want to be in. <laughs> This is an extra small free people. The these cla really another well. staple for free people these is like these. Thermals. Yes, it's these like a couple button front and then lace. The like, oh, what's that called? The cuff. They so quick too. And this is a We the Free. Got a wide neck. I have not found a model picture yet to see exactly what this looks like. It has lace it's on really each pretty. side. And like a roll up Back and front. Detail. And that's a size medium. It looks to be one shoulder, I would assume. Yeah. That's cute. Next up for me, made well, extra small. Super cute. This is a very not an extra small. Ooh, I didn't even notice that. That's pretty. There's this like detail. Okay. It's kind of hard to see. On the back of the sleeve. Wow, okay. And around the neck as well. And it's just kind of like a boho-y, like peasant-y style blouse. Another free people. Free people size small, just a basic black kind of like scoop neck thermal. Um, Jack found this for me and I might keep it. It is Goofy, who is my favorite Disney character. And he's holding this little sign that says Goofy. Yeah, That's I'm gonna, cute. yeah, this is for me. I'm gonna keep that. I'm going to the new pile. Okay, these are American Eagle size four regular. I will not put these on right now or I would literally disappear. I know. <laughs> and they are a pair of. <laughs> there we go. And they are a pair of camo, kind of like distressed pants. I Very typically cute. don't pick up American Eagle unless it's the like distressed, like bottoms. And we usually don't sell American Eagle ourselves. Uh, like every consignment store anywhere. Every Plato's closet. That's a tip. Plato's closet. Normal consignment stores, they like all take it. And so mm -hmm. we get it a lot for there. It's like a staple for consigning. Ones mm -hmm. like that worth selling. This is a new tag free people size medium, really chunky, really oversized purple sweater. I have no idea what happened to this poor tag because she's just blank. Uh, it retailed for $120 <laughs> and it is just a big old pretty kind of asymmetrical hen purple sweater. I'm struggling with one of those yawns that you just keep doing half of oh it. Oh my god, one ever you completely just can't get it like out completely. <laughs> this is literally so oh, cute. I love this, this retailed at $150. This it is a is free so people, pretty. normal tag, size small. And it was in the bins. And it has that like peplum effect because of the lace, lace panels. Lace inserts, very pretty. So 
cute. Oh, actually, I was going to pound these out. So I got four Brandy Melville to show you. Ooh, Again, please buy all of them. If you're interested in Brandy Melville, these are some cute pieces. So I will bundle them for you. Brandy Melville, probably one size fits all. Actually not as small as they usually are. This is this is more of a like medium or maybe even large. It's supposed to be cropped and raw. Mm -hmm. Cute. It's the very Brandy Melville aesthetic. It's a girl with her scissors when not her clothes. This is one that maybe is more of a small medium also, but it is like kind of stretchy Brandy Melville. A little sweater thermal. This one's actually really cute and it is John Galt, my Brandy Melville. I don't know who John is. I don't know I don't who know Brandy he, is. I don't know where he come from. Um, Again, not too tiny for brandy, so that's pretty cool. And this one's cute. Again, that with raw. Um, a girl in um, her clothes with her scissors. And then, <laughs> honestly, knowing brandy, it's supposed to be this pilly. It's it like is. pilled, but like mm -hmm. I think it's supposed to be. And again, not like microscopic. So, like, you can see it. <laughs> brandy's actually, these are some like decent, not problematic sized brandies. So, oh God. let me know if you're interested in any of them. Okay. A bin sign that a lady threw back, and I feel bad, but I took them from her. Uh, I'm not took them from her, you know what I mean. They are the Dre Skinny, size 27, and they are just a light wash, skinny jean with the back. And then where'd that little, where'd that little Reagan bowl moment? Yours are dark wash. I think I left mine at home. I found some Dre also. Um, these, this is one of the only men's brands that I will pick up that's like, Kind of not for teenagers or like you know people that don't work in the, don't work in an office. Um, and it's Peter Millar wicking. I don't know what he's wicking away. 36, 32 pair of men's dress pants. Um, I've sold a few of his things before in the past, and they sold pretty well for me. <clears throat> or if not, I give them to Todd. Todd is not a 36 inch waist, so he unfortunately cannot enjoy those. But I remember when some lady came up to you and handed you Peter Millar and was like, "This is so." It was a women's golf shirt. That she was like, have you seen any Lululemon here? And we were like, no, as we had like a cart full. And then she and then she was like, okay, well, I'm leaving then. Take this Peter Millar and buy it. It's expensive. It was a $40 women's golf jacket. And I was like, thank you. I was like, okay. Thank you for thinking of me. Um, okay, so this is all TJs from here on I'm out. not at my TJs yet, but I got some. So this is like one thing, multiple sizes. This is sundry. I have this in a size one and two, which is like, Small, I think. Small, medium. Small medium. And it's just super pretty, like heart tea. It is tiered. And these were sold at Anthropology. Everybody's favorite place, Anthropology. They're so cute. Just to prove one, two. So nobody's like, right in your line. This is super cute. It is Zara size small. And it has this really pretty floral embroidery on it in this like beige color. And it's like a swing dress with this like crossover. It's kind of hard to tell because it's all one color. Just like a little crossover moment. This is a free people. This is called like cabin fever, something fever. This is so cute. Top. It's so pretty. I it has these like, these like mixed media sleeves. This is kind of uncomfortably tiny, but that's okay. Super cute. And there's a zipper on the front. And then this is a Zara jacket. It is new tags, obviously. And it's a size medium. Is that like trendy utilitarian look? Um, it's, it's from their like sustainable collection, but like, <laughs> I don't think nothing about okay. Zara is any part of sustainability. But it's a cute little coat though. You know, buy it from me, you don't buy it from Zara. Okay. <laughs> this was a bins find. I'm kind of lately been not as much paying attention to brands if things are super cute. Mm -hmm. It is a random boutique and it's a small medium it and so it's new with tag. Though. It's so soft, so pretty, and it would be literally so comfortable. Like it's so cute. Um, they retail at like 80 bucks. So I That's mean- That's expensive for a boutique sweater. Yeah. This is an um G I am stealing from Ryan's. Oh, he found some tools so with the like bell sleeves. Size large. This is so cute. I am not a fan of Umji. Ryan <laughs> is. It actually also has a belt that I think ties into like a bow in the front. You can cinch it. But in the bins, especially that cute, I will totally what grab it. What size was it? Large. This is a new with tag Raga. Raga? 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 Mm -hmm. Really cute, interesting, like open sides to it. It has like. And then it's like a moments. skirt. So like it's really pretty. It is. It's a size small. Oh my gosh, I love these. These are sanctuary size twenty eight. Again, I will not put these on or I will vanish. Just like normal straights, almost skinny, maybe skinny, pants. Little camel pants. Probably cute. from Anthro. 
I've seen multiple anthro it is an sanctuary anthro, camel pants. Revolve. <laughs> and then this I'm just trying from the bins. It's Lacoste, size 38. I don't really know anything about that size Lacoste either. Lacoste is so expensive. But I just for some reason out. really liked it because it's a black. It's got a little gator. And he's black. He's not green, which is kind of interesting. It's one, two, three. I have an extra small, medium, and large of this skirt. It is the Free People like Prairie Robe or something or other midi tube skirt. And it has a fun little slit that goes up the side and then you have that in an extra small medium and large if you want this i only have one of it is a free people top with this really pretty lace on the front and the hem and the lace on the sleeve and this is a size small this is a weed free size extra Cute. large which pumped the free people made an extra large this is called the like patchwork thermal and it's just this really pretty red white and blue thermal even though literally you could picture with the grandma like making quilt this quilt star on it very accurate like you'd see that they're starting to either be free people or like homemade grandma's or like water. bonworth and that's the size <laughs> extra large this is the free people shimmy shake top i do know that super pretty this like what's it called untamed yellow untamed she's gold. untamed and she's, she's untamed shimmying gold. and shaking this is the back so you're supposed to kind of tuck it into pants and that little knot detail and that is a size medium one of many more free people we the free size extra small and this is a super cute it is. uh like pinky reddy blacky yellowy thermal with the Finally, like stripey. the like raw hem on it and the contrast the stressy super cute pleated -y. And that was an extra small, but I didn't say it. This I probably did, I just want to forget. Is Vineyard Vines, men's, Vineyard Vines. Vineyard Vines. The break, <laughs> the breaker short, breaker breaker. Breaker breaker in your girlfriend. Size 36. The and they're breaker, good for 4th of July if they're not sold by then. Or just like, you know, when Bill decides to go down to Tampa for a golf retreat. Yeah. This is Christian Dior Monsieur. It's, not, it's pretty though. Cute little black scarf. Black white plaid. This is joie. I probably need to have Ryan sew this back on. I can do very little. <laughs> I can't do anything with a needle. Um, Jean it. Jean sheer, it, it probably had some kind of slip, maybe? Because mm -hmm. it's like sheer. Mm -hmm. It's extra small. That's really pretty. I do not like J. Crew jeans, but these are J. Crew maternity skinny jeans. And I know any other time I've had maternity jeans, they actually do really well, size 27. Whose idea so, is it to put the elastic where the pocket is? That's a good idea. So we're gonna give that a shot. This is a really cute, tiny, extra small anthropology it's top. Really pretty. Sequin and kind of florally detail around it. And then this is a meadow rue, size 10. Medium? Medium sure. large? Medium? Like really cute little like, gingham moment. Okay. Gingham. I have this top in a size medium. It is the free people like Sakai, Sakai, I don't know how to say that. Long sleeve, I can hold it up. Super cute, super perfect for spring with the kind of like wider neck and the big old comfy sleeves. I don't know why my voice just went out there. Oopsie poopsies. These, these are pretty. So these are new tag anthropology. They are both a size XL, which I am even more pumped about. They are Daniel Rain for Anthropology. They were $150 a piece. I honestly didn't even know Daniel Rain was ever an anthro. I didn't either. And they are these beautifully made yellow kind of like. Embroidered. Yeah, dresses with the poofy sleeves. sleeves and they have the matching belts. Oh my God, they're adorable. And I have two, they're both size XM. This is New Tag Vince retail for $1.95. I originally bought these for me and sadly they don't fit me at all. Size medium. They are the like cropped black sweatpants. They're super cute. Just a good old pair of black sweatpants. These are Zara Trifolic size two US, I don't know what 34 means, but they're this really cute pair of floral jeans. And then on one of the legs, it says, do you like my shoes? Which like, <laughs> you could wear these with something I'm about to show you and I'd be able to look. Couple pairs, I have this pair of jeans and a 24. They are the free people, something like distress flare. And it's just a pair of flare jeans and they have some intentional distressing on the knee and then on the back of one of the jeans, or back of one of the jeans, back of one of the legs. I have this skirt in a size 28 and 29 and it's just this really pretty kind of like pink corduroy, like blushy pink corduroy little mini skirt. Okay, I'm gonna whip 
through my stuff now and then we will show you the we'll two things the, you've all been waiting for. We'll do the good things. This was oh, a bin find. Lululemon. Lululemon. I do not know the size, so as usual, email me if you are actually interested in it and I will get you the size. I figured out. But it, it has Lululemon. this like chiffoni back to it and a sweater in the front. It's cute. This is a Vineyard Vines extra large men's like sleep pants. They're cute. Little and they nut have cracker. nutcrackers on them. And they got little nuts on them. Nuts. <laughs> this is so cute. This was a Very Vince Fine size small sundry somehow we're suddenly finding sundry everywhere I it's like this sundry. distressed sweater dress it's, it's so got distressing cute, at the front some on the back and then like some on the sleeves <gasps> and then it looks like a face <laughs> you all see that no just me okay <laughs> this was another one from that bougie lady pile it is a 3.1 philip Lim size four with these beautiful like encrusted they got stones on it. Sheer sleeves and a slip tank underneath. This, I never thought I'd say I'd be selling a Target thing, but I am going to try to sell this myself. It is a newest tag Wild Fable, size large. It's so cute. It's the knot front and these poofy sleeves. And I actually have seen a ton of bloggers wear it's shirts. It's adorable. Exactly like this, with the poofy sleeves and the knot front. So I'm going to try to sell that myself. You know, 15 bucks. This is a size 6. This ASOS, is so pretty. ASOS high, low, ruffly um, floral like skirt. Tropical skirt. It's oh. so cute. That's adorable. I'm not usually like too excited for ASOS, but that I love. That's a good one. And then let me quickly do my TJ Maxx. I got a lot less than Ryan. I went a little haywire. This TJ is a free people knit skirt, and it is a size medium. Medium. It was sold on Revolve. This is a pair of Zara pants. They are a nice like are cute. burgundy rust corduroy Zara there. woman and they're an XL. Two of these, you can hear them jingling their these way over really here. These are really cute. They are intimately free people. I have a size medium and the other one's deeper in the pile, so we'll find out. They are a bodysuit with like they're a so lace pretty. panty, I guess. Panty. To it and <laughs> ruffles around them. And they got bells. On um, What's that? She got bells on her fingers and whistles on her toes. What? You've never heard that? that Small old, and like, medium, I have. That old, like, fairy tale? No, I do not know. So you're got bells about. on her fingers and something on her toes. This is a size 20 plus size J. Crew. This that is, is a so new tag. Pretty. It's so soft. And it's like this pink velvet it's like a, crossover dress. Like a pinky purpley blurry <laughs> dress. So pretty, oh my god. This I honestly didn't think was gonna be free people, but it is, and it's a size medium. For the luxury hippie. And how does this go? Where the front though? Something like that. It's real like. It's like a draped kind of jersey feeling it's skirt. Flirty. These I think are so cute. They're Zara. With the like. They're Go called the Mom him. Jean, With and an him. they are a size four, pink stone one. I got some brazes. I got some panties and some brazes. These are Zara as well. They These lace up the cute. front, and they also have a bra hem to them, size six. More brazes. <laughs> All intimately free people, tons of different sizes. And then Love these are We the Free, size 26. These are cute. And I have not found any kind of model picture or anything yet, but they're like they are super high. High weight. Oh, what's that Levi? And then they've got like this like interesting skinny. buckle mm -hmm. kind of detail to them. They got some buttons. Okay. <sighs> oh, here comes the good part. The moment you've all been waiting for. I'm keeping mine in a real, real bag. Mine are sitting in front of me, so you'll find out when I do. Why are you not? Who goes first? You can go first. So. Best for last. If you follow me, oh yeah, sure. Mine retail literally twice the size, right? Mm -hmm. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen these. But I found these Manolo Blahnik. I paid up for them. Not like insane amount, but like. Pay up for things. More than I like. ever have. And yeah, Manolo Blahnik's cool, cute, satin, whatever, interesting, like. Oh. But huh. they're Manolo Blahnik with Vemo. Vemo. Which I know we have had Vemo in one of our. Um, Bolo videos, and this side has a Manolo Blahnik signature to them. And these Ooh, you kind of can't see it. That's kind of cool. I know, only from certain angles. And they retailed at seventeen hundred and twenty-five dollars. Why the extra twenty? So I think you, you can know? see why I would pay up for these. It's a pretty little suit. So pretty. They've been worn like once or twice. They have been tried on. 
is what I'm gonna say for these. Yeah, now. handmade in Italy. How do you handmade? And I have them listed right now, but I emailed the real real asking them how much they would price them at, and I could end up sending them there. So if you're interested in some really expensive shoes, hop on them fast. Okay, so here's mine. I'll show you the dust. Oh, and I found two other Manola Blahniks. Picture here. I just left them at home. We forgot them, sorry. Okay, so here's the dust bag. They are this beautiful pair of gold sequin. I'll probably hold it. Um, Christian, no, Christian Louboutin, Christian Louboutin, slingback. I, I do believe that these are called the Lady Peep because they have a little peep toe in the front. They are 100% authentic. Retailed at $845. $845. I will, in full disclosure, say I did get these from a consignment store. She had them priced very reasonably that I will make a substantial amount of money. I can then. see that you're just looking at them. Like, I am. They're so pretty. I loved on my Instagram when I had them on my head. It was fun, but I also kind of had a little nervous because I was going to drop them. I kind of had a little I kind of had a little nervous. They do shed a teeny little bit because it's glitter. And it's like probably hand it literally like... It is hand like... like in specific spots. Um, there's a teeny little bit of wear on the back of each of the heels, but like, since it's a metallic, you can't really tell. They are a size 39, which is like, I think a size nine. 9. I don't know how Louis Vuittons fit. And there's the inner part. That's all. We're gonna cut it off here because we're literally nearing 40 minutes. We, and it has been I know you guys, bad. a lot of you are okay with the longer videos, but I know there's a few that aren't. And Sorry. Whatever. <laughs> Thank you for watching this whole haul. If you did, let us know what your favorite item was that we found and yes, be sure to email see. us if you're interested in anything. And that's it. Thank you for watching. That's all. Bye. Bye.